everything I put on my body and everything I do is an artistic choice and everything needs to be very intentional. Putting on drag, it, you kind of just feel like you have a mask or like a super suit on and like you can do anything. You just feel invincible. So it's a really freeing experience. I started when I was a freshman in college and I just started playing dress up in my dorm room. When I was growing up, I mixed up sexuality and gender so often as I feel many people do. I thought I was transgender for a while, but after experiencing drag, I realized, wait, no, my body's fine and I'm happy with my body. It's really just like how I want to express myself. I really needed some sort of outlet to express my more feminine side. I feel like I couldn't really do that, like just walking around through society. I use one name. Um, her name is Regina Flores. Regina means queen in Latin and Flores means flowers in Spanish. Um, so I'm like queen of the flowers. Regina is not really a different persona than I am. I think it's a heightened persona of what I am and a little less inhibited by like social pressures. So, ladies and germs, please welcome to the stage Dr. Abigail Lushcat. Me being able to do that and perform on stage in front of like hundreds of people and like most of them other queer individuals, my confidence um, really transfers. Like I talk to people after the shows and they just express like their gratitude that um, someone so visible and so confident and proud is like representing the community. I've been struggling lately, like, what kind of legacy am I kind of leaving? Like, do I even need to leave one? Like, that sounds crazy. Like, how am I going to leave my mark at Cal Poly? And I think I definitely have already done that. And I didn't, like, create the drag community, but I definitely helped kind of pave the way for it to expand and for, like, more people to come out of the woodwork. So I think that's very rewarding. It's been such an amazing experience to watch this um, community grow and flourish to what it is today. So I appreciate all the queer people in this community and this campus. That really